You can see I'm back on the Airline 62316 here from 1936, a little lead dress issue on the power transformer that needs to be tidied up here. You can see the uh, damage there to the uh, wires definitely uh, making it uh, unsafe to uh, operate. The uh, primary windings there to the right are in uh, worse shape. Here's a close-up view of that and a, a quick fix here. I'll just use some uh, fiberglass insulation tubing, make the uh, repairs, have that protrude back through the uh, cardboard, and I think that will uh, take care of the issue. You can see here I'm using my uh, step bit just to increase the size of the hole in that uh, cardboard former just a bit. And uh, doing some uh, de-rusting here, citric acid overnight on the housing itself, and some new hardware and some fresh paint. I think that looks uh, a lot better and it should perform well. And getting the power transformer mounted and tied back into the uh, circuit. In addition, testing the uh, DC resistance again, just to make certain that uh, everything uh, reads correctly and I have no shorts back to the housing as well. Up next was the uh, IF transformer lead dressing. I removed uh, both the first and second IF, as you can see. Good look at the uh, IF uh, transformer here for reference and uh, just replacing the uh, leads as well and uh, changing the uh, color codes to uh, match the uh, RMA. You can see I'm just using some Sharpies here, taking some uh, white pushback wire to uh, take care of the uh, wiring. In a previous video, I showed the steps that I took to uh, clean up the tuning condenser. You guys can see the pop-up here. You uh, need to go back and catch that. Just uh, looking at the uh, grommets available here to uh, replace the uh, three felt grommets that were used in the past. So this is definitely a, an upgrade. And of course, tying in those leads before moving along to the uh, B plus here, which is now tied in, that being the new electrolytic caps, etc. So we're in good shape there. You can see there's still some uh, housekeeping to be done. I've got that one uh, cap there on the electrolytic can to the right. And I also want to uh, color code the grid wires green. And place a, a fuse holder in as well. You can also see the uh, antenna lead dress needs to be uh, redone. And I had mentioned the candom. I'm going to uh, bring this up using the candom in place since it tested good. And I'll replace it afterwards. Little tube testing here. Getting uh, ready for the fire up soon. But uh, some more cleanup here on the loudspeaker and the uh, connection points here that had some uh, lead dress issues as well with frayed wiring that I needed to uh, clean up as well. Let's do the uh, power up now. Looking at uh, B plus voltage here. And you can see we're in good shape. Schematic shows 200 volts. Again, so we're just a little north of that and the screen grid reading uh, 120, 121, so we're in good shape there as well. Going back over to the existing can dome, you can see the bias voltage there. That first section is good. The uh, second section matches the uh, schematic as well, in addition to the uh, third section. Let's uh, take the radio here now for a little test drive. I'm actually over on the short wave band. We'll start there, then uh, change back over to the uh, AM broadcast band. Thanks for watching.
for to use, but I just felt like I'd let myself down and I'd let, you know, my friends and family down, but... You know, coaching Team USA was... I had private jets and Bentleys and mansions and yachts. survival training along with cash donations to families of law enforcement officers.